So I was married for almost eight years um, to my ex-husband and we had kids about three and a half years into our marriage. So at the time that we split up, our kids were, our son was two and our daughter had just turned four. And we separated because I found out that he was having an affair and he chose not to end it. So we decided to get divorced. There were major communication challenges after we separated because it had been such an unexpected separation for me. Um, there wasn't like, a, you know, a year or two of problems going into our divorce. So the communication was like a, more like a communication breakdown in the beginning. I found out about Talking Parents through my attorney about three months into the divorce, and she recommended that we start using Talking Parents. Um, not only because our communication was pretty much non-existent at that point, I would just call it fighting at that point, but also because it was court, it could be used in court. And that was really important um, in our divorce that anything that we were discussing could be used in court because our divorce was really high conflict. There's a lot of features that I love about Talking Parents and the messages one is of course the one that I use the most. Uh, my favorite feature about the messages is that I can search through my messages. And this has come in really handy because I have at this point three years worth of messages in there, uh, safe and sound, and they're all dated and time stamped. but I can refer back to something. So if there was, you know, an agreement made between me and my ex spouse, and then later I bring it up and say he, you know, forgets or doesn't remember that discussion. I can just type it in and go back and look and I screenshot it and I've done this and then I say, well, actually we agreed upon this, you know, back in December. So here it is. And so there's no back and forth about, well, I didn't say that and well, I think you did or let me go look through my text messages or my emails, which would probably take days and it's not worth my time to do that. It's just all documented right there. Another feature that I love is that because Talking Parents can be used in court, it instantly pushed me and my ex to be very civil in our conversations because we knew that a judge might be reading it later. And it ended a lot of the back and forth arguing and it really simplified our conversations. Not only did it simplify just like on an emotional side, but it really changed the way that we discussed things and it eliminated any sort of outside conversations that we had to have. We literally only communicated through the app. A huge benefit of this was to see how we moved from really arguing all the time, which was horrible. It was emotionally horrible for me, um, but it was also really awful because I didn't want my young children to see what was going on. I was really trying to protect them throughout this whole messy divorce that was going on. And so I'm so grateful that we started using Talking Parents, that my attorney told me to use Talking Parents because it, it completely changed, I think, the course of the court or the path that we were heading down. Um, our divorce was really messy. It was really high conflict. It was really unexpected on my part. And I think I could have gone down the path where we just would never have gotten along. And we could have been arguing for years about everything. And instead, we pretty much changed the way that we communicated by using the Talking Parents app. And my children have really never seen us argue in front of them. We're very civil now in front of them. We're, we're friendly. Uh, we're, we're not friends and we're not going to be friends, but we've both gotten to a place where we get along in front of our kids. And that's so important to me. And I that was my ultimate priority to keep them out of the arguments and to keep them out of the divorce.